What's going on everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews back again with another review. Today we're going to be talking about some tripods. More specifically, the newer tripod that I actually got for Christmas. My lady picked it up for me. I believe it is a 79 inch newer tripod. Newer, newer. Either way, it's new to me. Uh, regardless of what the brand name is called. Um, today though, before I show you that, I'm going to show you guys a few of the other ones that I've actually had. This one right here, I don't know exactly which brand. I think this actually came with... I don't know, some little cheap thing right here, right? So we can actually take this off. This is a little, what do they call these? A selfie stick, a little cheap selfie stick, throw a GoPro or something like that on it. I like this one though, even though it is a cheap one, I like it uh, because of the fact that it does have an attachment there that I could put on this other tripod right here with the ball head on it. This one is from, what company is this from? At one point in time, I believe it actually had the brand name somewhere on it, but I've had this one for a really long time and this one is sturdy. Again, I like the fact that it does have a ball head on there, full 360 degree rotation. And then to extend it, I can actually put this on here like this. So this is one that I use more often when I'm out and about, you know, on the go. Uh, one of the first ones that I had though was right here. I no longer use this, um, but maybe I'll use it and set it up for one of my old cameras that I also no longer use just to get, you know, a bunch of different angles in these videos. This one right here was one of the first tripods I guess I've had, um, maybe like my second or whatever. You guys could have seen this probably, um, what is it, a Dynex. They probably got these at like Walmart or something like that. Something similar to like Amazon Basics. Um, Y'all know basic regular thing with the handle. A lot of them have it like this with the uh, bubbler and cool that this one actually has this because I'm going to be using this for the new thing. But as you guys see, it does also have a uh, quick release plate. So from the other one, I decided to upgrade from that and got the uh, Manfrotto tripod. This one is actually really good. I don't know the length that it goes to. This is called their Action Tripod. Uh, it's really good. I actually still use it to this day. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to uh, upgrade from it though is because of the way that this thing mounts devices. These pieces right here, like one of a kind, I believe these, this company is the only one that makes things like this. And if this goes bad, uh, last time I checked the price to get a replacement of the thing that you actually screw into the bottom of your camera. It's pretty expensive, so it does not have a standard mounting system. But I did like this one, though, because of the way that um, you can rotate this and easy, easily, you know, get your angles. This is a decent one right here. But now we're going to go to the newer one, newer, newer. Where's the box? Here it is right here. So this bad boy is the one that I recently just got. So we're going to take a look at this, show you guys a couple of the features, and we're going to go ahead and set it up. And this is going to be just another addition to get some uh, other angles and stuff like that. So first things first, comes with a very nice case, nice handle right here, or you could throw it over your shoulder with this handle right here as well. A Velcro closure right here. I'm going to zip this bad boy. And before I show you guys the actual tripod itself, I'm going to show you guys the inside of the bag for you guys that want to see, you know, all the features that are going to come with this, uh, this bag right here. So first thing, it has a little slot in here. Maybe you could throw some memory cards, some uh, small little accessories. And I think that is the only compartment in here. It definitely is uh, well padded. Uh, compared to the other ones I have one has like no padding another one has very slight padding This is kind of slight, but I think it's gonna do the trick right here to give you enough padding for those of you who may uh, Be like photographers in the field and stuff like that. This is the tripod We are going to be using now this one the specific model newer into 84 l plus G0 it does have the red accents on the black frame. This is Aluminum right here Nice padding right here. So just like any other tripod and stuff like that, guys, we got the three leg extensions. It does open from the bottom. So I'll go ahead and slide the first one off and get these all opened up. Oh, this last one comes out too. The non-slip rubber feet right here. Very well padded. This is the 79 inch tripod right here with the uh, full 100, 360 degree ball head mount. Before I get to that though, I do wanna show you guys a close up on this. One of the legs actually has uh, a lock and unlock feature on it whereas the other ones do not so for the one that actually does have this the cool feature about that is that this actually can come off of the tripod and be used solely as a monopod so i'll go ahead and show you guys that real quick very cool hidden feature so we do have a monopod right here with i forget the exact sizing of the uh the thread right there on top 
But if you wanted to as well, you can actually take the ball head mount off of this and put it on this and use it as that. In addition to that, each and every leg on here has uh, another adjuster. You can slide it and lock it. All three of them have it. And that will actually allow this tripod to be extended and flattened all the way to the ground. So if you guys want to set it all the way on the ground, you push them down, they actually lock into place and it'll go back normal for you. Quick release plate, they will actually just turn this right here. Whole quick release comes off. Whereas uh, I actually had to get that separately for one of my other tripods, but nice size plate right here. Has a little twisty thing right here at the bottom, of course. Twist this part into your camera. Set it in here, and then I do believe there's a lock or something like that. I don't know how to work this lock. I'll mess with that a different time. But for now, we set this here. It does also have a bubble leveler right here as well. Um, in addition to that, there's another bubble leveler right here for the frame. Main reason why I wanted this one though was for the feature, I uh, forget what they call it, but the horizontal positioning that this thing could be angled at. Let me show you guys as well. There's a button on the bottom of this pole here, and by pressing the button on here, actually allows it to be released 100% uh, clear away from this tripod here. So we can lock it in, Size it how we want to. If you really wanted to, you could press the button as well. Release it all the way. While I got it off of here, I guess I'll show you guys a little close up. All right, so the two things right here are used for the same thing. You actually need to loosen or tighten them both and that will give you um, some movement right here for the 360 degrees. Plus, if you want to angle it you know, vertically, you can toss this all the way down right there. So that's pretty cool. We also have another one right back here and that is used to actually uh, angle this whole ball head mount in general. So right now it will not twist at all But if you turn this right here, it actually allows you to twist it There are some numbers and stuff like that on there So if you want to get specific and see what angle you're turning this thing at and rotating it at you could turn it as such It does have some 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 give to it. It's not just like a free motion thing So it does feel like it has some uh, you know quality to it very well built But if you don't want it to move go ahead and just tighten it right here and it will no longer move. So again, if you have a camera right here and you want to catch something that's very low to the ground, instead of you having to put your whole body on the ground or to get a stabilizer and just hold your arm to the ground, you can actually just mount this entire tripod upside down. So the same way that I press this button from the bottom to release this entire thing off of the tripod here, we'll be able to mount things from below as well. So you do have to press the button. You can mount it this way, and I know you guys can't really see the bottom, but there it is. I really like that feature as well. And again, the feature that I started telling you guys about, and then I just kind of went right past it, is right here. This tripod also has another angler, so you can actually uh, angle this thing in a horizontal position on top of it being in a vertical position. So we just loosen this knob right here, and we got some free motion just like this and they actually do lock into place exactly where you need them so you don't got to try to be you know frustrating uh trying to get the perfect angle because it actually has numbers on here and when you get close to it as soon as you start tightening um the lever down is going to lock it into either a 90 degree what is it 67.5 45 degrees certain angles and it's going to lock it in so uh you know if you ever need to take it off and you're just trying to get back to the same level that you were at just go ahead and tighten it and it will stay in the same spot there for you. So in addition to it being like this, it still has free motion if you wanted to. I know you can get some pretty cool shots like that. 360 shots if you wanted to like that. If you don't want it to have any type of motion at all, just go ahead and lock this up. And there it is, it will not move anymore. So I just think this is a really good tripod. You can actually take this whole thing off. And I do believe these things are also sold separately if you guys already have like a decent tripod and you guys are just looking for something like this, a very high quality uh, ball head mount. This is just a, a, an amazing deal that came with this tripod and the, the features of it. Um, I forget the exact weight that it says, but it does have a little spot right here on the side for a counterweight. So it does have a, a slot for a counterweight. So you say hang some weight so your tripod does not tip over. Again, there's another balancing uh, bubble right there. Uh, am I missing anything? I don't think so. One of the main reasons why I got this, I already told you, is because of this leveler right here where you can angle it a certain way. And I'm gonna be using it for the purpose of getting some overhead shots right over here on this table that I set up. Go ahead and check out the review by clicking the card that pops up on this uh, workbench that I actually just set up. That's a pretty good deal on that as well. I'll be sitting down at the desk, got a camera angled right down here, uh, getting some overhead shots while this camera faces me. And I just gotta figure out a way, you know, to make sure it's not seen in the shot, something like that, right? 
something like that. We're going to get it out the way slightly. Overhead going down. Y'all can see me pretty clear. I think it's going to work itself out. It's going to be pretty good. So, again, if you guys found this video helpful, if you guys want to see more reviews, if you guys are interested in stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to the page and hit the thumbs up button on this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.